Good day and many thanks for your interest in our study evaluating allergy risks of canned fish. I'm Timo Reuters from the Tropic Futures Institute in Singapore and the Molecular Allergy Research Laboratory in Australia, both belonging to James Cook University. Let me provide you with some background. Seafood allergies are one of the most complex food allergies with an astonishing species diversity and a high risk of anaphylaxis for a lifetime. And unfortunately, current diagnostic and management tools are rather insufficient to enable a safe diet for affected individuals. However, fish and shellfish are very different and corresponding allergies are often not related. For most fish allergy sufferers, complete avoidance is often recommended. Yet species-specific sensitization patterns are known and food processing has an impact. It is therefore sometimes clinical practice to recommend the consumption of canned fish to fish allergy sufferers. And in fact, there are many reports of fish allergic patients tolerating some or all canned fish products, which is fantastic as it helps those suffering individuals and even their relatives and friends to maintain a healthier and more liberate diet. After all, canned fish is packed with nutrients such as omega-3 fatty acids and minerals. Nevertheless, such recommendations are made despite a lack of corresponding comprehensive molecular analysis and that's what we aimed to change. We have collected 17 fish products covering various salmon, sardine and tuna products from nine different manufacturers. And it's noteworthy that product levels are often, labels are often not sufficiently comprehensive or inaccurate and can be misleading. A salmon in a can, for example, is usually not an Atlantic salmon, which is well investigated for its allergen repertoire. It's mostly pink or red salmon. And these are certainly very different fish species. We have analyzed the allergen content and immunogenicity of all these canned fish in detail, utilizing biochemical and immunological methods and advanced quantitative mass spectrometry. IgE binding capacity and clinical reactivity was then evaluated with 53 fish allergic pediatric patients recruited at the Children's Hospital in Sydney, Australia. Detailed results are available in the paper, but key findings are summarized here. Two thirds of patients showed IgE binding, and IgE binding was most frequent to sardine followed by salmon products, highlighting that it makes a big difference what kind of canned fish we are looking at. And the low frequency of IgE binding to tuna appeared to be linked to a very low abundance of puff albumin. Importantly, Tropomyosin is the most abundant and predominant IgE binding protein in all canned fish products, highlighting the importance of the only recently by us further described fish allergen, tropomyosin. Overall, the heat stable allergens collagen, path albumin, and tropomyosin, but also under investigated myosin heavy chain, showed IgE binding. And altogether, canned fish may not be safe depending on the exact product and individual's sensitization pattern to those heat-stable allergens, which should really be reflected in improved diagnostic and management tools. And importantly, an incremental oral food challenge should be considered before recommending canned fish to fish allergic individuals. And now, please read the open access paper and get in touch should you have any questions. Thank you.